Pat McFarland has been all over this breaking story throughout the day. He is joining us live right now outside West Haven City Hall. Matt, what are you learning? Well, Mark and Aaron State Rep Michael DeMassa has been an employee here at City Hall since he was a teenager. His most recent position working as the administrative assistant for West Haven City Council. Now he's accused of defrauding his own city, stealing more than $600,000 in federal COVID relief funding. Now, the 30 year old DeMassa said nothing as he walked out of U.S. District Court today earlier in downtown New Haven. Right now, he's facing one count of federal wire fraud charges, which carry up to 20 years in prison if found guilty. Earlier this month, we learned the FBI was inside West Haven City Hall investigating what the mayor called potentially fraudulent expenditures when it came to some of the city's $1.2 million in federal CARES Act money, which was supposed to help the city recover from the pandemic. Well, according to court paperwork, DeMassa and a partner formed a consulting business in January and then allegedly billed the city and its COVID-19 grant department more than $636,000 for work it said it was doing for the city's health department but allegedly never did. The complaint goes on to allege that DeMassa later withdrew large sums of cash from his consulting group's bank account, either shortly before or right after he made thousands of dollars worth of cash buy-ins of gaming chips for the Mohegan Sun Casino. Now, today outside of court, DeMassa's attorney wouldn't say much, but that his client is taking the allegations very seriously. You're going to hear from him tonight on Eyewitness News at 5 and 6. DeMassa is free on a quarter million dollars bond. Uh, he has been stripped from his committee and his assignment with the state legislator. Now, coming up tonight at 5, you're going to hear from a number of residents here in West Haven as they react to the allegations. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in West Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Already a lot of moving parts with this breaking story. Matt, we'll see you again coming up later in the news. Thank you. The afternoon rush continues right now with more developing news in West Haven. Police are investigating a domestic violence incident that happened here on Gilbert Street. Now, authorities aren't releasing many details details, but neighbors tell us they heard glass shattering and screaming right around five o'clock this morning. They also say they heard a woman crying hysterically. Police do say it appears to be an isolated incident and there is no threat to the public. More breaking